What up, homies? Y'all know what it is. Welcome back, Conspiracy University. All right, I want to get into a little bit about this whole TikTok thing. And I just want to give y'all a few of my thoughts on it. So as you can see here, TikTok was uh, founded in China, right? TikTok, known in China as Douyin, Douyin is a video-focused social network service owned by Chinese company ByteDance. It hosts a variety of short-term, of short-form user videos from genres like dance, comedy, and education with durations from 15 seconds to three minutes. TikTok is an international version of Douyin, which was originally released in the Chinese market in September 2016. TikTok was launched in 2017 for iOS and Android in most markets outside of mainland China. However, it became available worldwide only after merging with another Chinese social media service, Musical.ly, on 2 August 2018. All right, y'all, so basically I'm going to give y'all some comparisons, right, as to why I think uh, something don't seem right and uh, why don't we have these rules and regulations over here for our young and our youth down here because uh, to be quite honest, TikTok uh, is corrupting the minds of our youth and it ain't cool. So, for example, you have all of these influencers on TikTok, you know, trying to get all these kids to do these new little dances and these viral dances that go on. And sometimes most of them are like, I mean, it's pretty much like soft porn, you know, and there's never anything. It, it, OK, the endless scrolling is always going to give you something. You're going to click on one thing like that. And then the endless scrolling is going to always give you something else like that. Right. So, for example, in China. They only allow 40 minutes a day for their do young, you know, or their, their version of TikTok for the for use for their uh, social media on TikTok. Right. 40 minutes a day, which seems uh, it's pretty cool if you ask me, because, I mean, if I could not be able to monitor my child while he's away and I know that he can only go 40 minutes max, I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right. Another thing they do. Is they don't on the endless scrolling how they do for us, right? When you're scrolling, they do that endless scrolling where you just video after video after video. So on their version, after two or three videos, uh, they prompt uh, a message prompts you and lets you know, hey, would you like to do something else, or you should maybe think about getting up or you know doing some activities or something like it's trying to motivate you to do something else other than be on social media. So for all children 14 and under, they actually pause all social media. From 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So nobody can use social media at all, which I also think is a is a great idea because, again, you know, these little these little badass kids be running off and sneaking with the phone sometimes and just, just they be doing the most. Right. OK, and one more thing. What they do is versus over here on on in Chinese and the Chinese version of TikTok, right, doing. So over here on the endless scroll, they're going to always put push whatever it is that you have originally liked, right? Like you like this one influencer who does all these dances. So boom, there you're going to, you're going to get nothing else but stuff like that. Right. So over there on Douyin, everything that they do that, that, that gets pushed to their children is a science experiments that you could do at home. It talks about their patriotism, museum exhibits, things of that nature. Right. So what I don't understand is if the Chinese are responsible for TikTok and Douyin, why is it that in China, where it's a lot worse, and I mean, we, we're 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 free compared to them, right? Why is it that their TikTok version is educational and actually helping the minds of their youth, and ours is just straight corruption, right? Just a thought, y'all. Wanted to see what y'all thought about it. But as always, I appreciate every single one of y'all who come over here and rock with me and watch my videos. Y'all keep your eyes open out there. Stay safe, homies.